Well, a hearty shalom to you, Jeffrey Seif here. Another 10 minutes in Devarim, Deuteronomy. Well, there's 168 hours in a week. I'm glad you give me 10 of them. Uh, maybe you just stumbled upon me or us for the first time, or maybe you're actually uh, walking through the book. When it comes to the Bible, it's great to take a look at the book and uh, a deep look, a deeper dive. And uh, to that end, we at the Tree of Life uh, Society, of course, we're all about the, the manufacture of biblical literature from a Jewish perspective. So appreciate you glancing our way. Uh, we're in the second uh, Torah reading in Devarim and Deuteronomy. And uh, I want to just pick up on the fourth chapter. Uh, and there's something noted here that's introduced uh, that's stated, rather, over and over again in the biblical text. And if you would, please just turn with me to chapter 4, verse 1. Now, O Israel, now, uh, the opportunity of a lifetime needs to be seized within the lifetime of the opportunity. Now, Israel. You know, in the Gospel of Mark, arguably the first of the Gospels written, the word immediately is uh, stated 42 times. Uh, you know, to be proactive, to seize the moment. Uh, Jesus was very uh, immediate. Now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and ordinances that I'm teaching you to do. Listen first uh, to, 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 you know, people, well, you know, I, yeah, oh, religion is good. I go to church every now and again, you know, and occasionally I take a look at the good book, you know. I mean, it's nice to be respectful, but it's really not going to do you any good. I mean, it, that slothful approach doesn't have that transformative potential in it, that dynamism. Listen, hear. A lot of people hear, but they don't really hear. Yeshua, Jesus said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Of course, people have eardrums and, you know, there's cones vibrating. and um, But they, they hear, but they don't really hear. I mean, to really listen, hear, O Israel. Listen, that is, to the statutes and ordinances that I am teaching you to do so that you may live and go in and possess the land that Adonai, the God of your fathers, is giving you. I mean, something here worth paying attention to. Listen, that you may live. There's... People think, well, you know, religion is good, but I don't want to get carried away. I might lose too much of my life. You know, I have my my, my independence. I have my habits. And uh, goodness, I mean, I, I, I derive some satisfaction out of the things that I do. And I'm afraid if I get too carried away with religion, well, then I might just uh, lose the life that I've constructed. Um, he says, listen, this will be your life. Uh, there's a great adventure for you, for me, for we over the horizon if we just take that leap of faith. And I encourage people to, to, to just try and experiment. Someone said, you'd like me to commit my life to God, right? Yeah. Well, do it. I mean, and really mean it and do it for 12 months and see what happens. If it doesn't work out, you can have your life back. You know, no one's going to put a gun to your head. No one monitors. You have to have an internal locus of control. Uh, you make an executive decision up here to do that. See what becomes of your life. You can always have your life back. Uh, but it's hard, I should say, to find individuals today that have an internal locus of control. Some people go to work and the manager always has to stay on top of them and ride them in order to get performance out of them. And why is that? Because they always slide off the rails. Uh, because they don't have a good internal locus of control. I'm the kind of person just... Let me know what my parameters are, and I'm self-motivated, going to do it. Well, here, similarly, he says, listen, listen, hear, listen, because this is your life if you actually do it, if you walk it out. And, uh, you know, you have to hear it and observe it and do it. It gets very explicit as you read on through this and other passages in Deuteronomy and elsewhere. It begins with hearing it. You, you observe it. You, you kind of go through the motions of it. Uh, and do it. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it translates into something, something good. 
According to the text, it translates into life for the doer. People, as I said a moment ago, are so afraid that if they really commit the ways of the Lord, things will go bad. The Bible says, commit your ways to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. You might have to get rid of some bad habits and lose a dollar or two, but see what comes back to you by way of response. Well, I don't want to get all excited about religion. It might cost me something. Listen to me. Alcoholics pay dearly for their habits. And, uh, you know, quit cigarette smoking and uh, just give the money you would normally spend to cigarettes. Give it to a nonprofit. Give it to a charity. Give it to a church. See what happens. Well, to a congregation. Um, you know, it's uh, people pay for the things they care about. And if someone cares about the gospel's advancement, they put into it. You're not going to lose. You'll see what you get back by way of return. Uh, you know, a lot of people donated uh, to help get the Tree of Life going. It's no cheap endeavor. People didn't just donate money. They donated time. Dividends are great. Pays great dividends to invest in the work of the Lord. By the way, feel free to continue to do that, both in your congregation and with the Tree of Life. But he says, hear these and do these that you may live and that it might be well with you over and again. He goes on to say, you must not add to the word that I'm commanding you or take away from it. This whole Torah section starts off with, these are the words. I don't want to bump you back to last week unnecessarily, but this is it. This is the, 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 the revelation. And uh, take it seriously. We live in a world today where people are all about private spirituality. Well, here's what I feel. And you know, some admixture of various religions and feelings and throwing a little marijuana on top to really get give me a buzz and get spiritual. Uh, I don't do that sort of thing, but I'm saying that's the way it is. We live in a world today where a lot of people are all about their privatized spirituality. If it feels good, do it. These are the words. Uh, uh, religion, biblical religion needs to be tethered to biblical text. And the person needs to be careful to observe it because according to the text, these are the words that give you life. This Bible society, Etz Chaim, Tree of Life. This version of the Bible, Tree of Life. There's life to be had. Well, I'm so glad you're game to go on a journey with me. Granted, we just get in and out, don't spend a lot of time. Just a little nugget to give you something to think about to get you through the day, the week. Be back next week, same time, same station. Jeffrey Seif here. Thank you for tuning in to me, and thank you for tuning in to the tree that is the Tree of Life Bible Society. God bless.